Turkana South a member of parliament, James Lomenen, narrowly escaped death in Turkana South as warriors of Pokot and Turkana communities clashed. The legislator had gone to officiate the return of livestock which had been stolen from Turkana by Pokot bandits late last year. Joanne Letting with the details. As the meeting went on, a Pokot warrior stormed in, claiming that they were shot chained by the Turkana community. The warrior asserted that they were handing over livestock, yet the Turkana people had not released theirs. Turkana warriors, on the other hand, accused the Pokot warrior of insincerity, noting that he had not released all the cattle that he stole from the Turkana community. They claimed that the man stole 27 heads of cattle from Turkana and had released only eight of them. Tension escalated as the man declined adamantly to return the cattle as he stood in the middle of the baraza. Turkana elders were angered and were forced to step in and force the Pokot warrior to leave the meeting, which led to the destruction of the meeting. The Pokot warrior was forced to leave, but after a few minutes he came back armed with a cocked gun, forcing those who had attended the meeting to scamper for their safety. The journalists present also dashed off lest a stray bullet came for them. As tension escalated, the warriors from the two communities kept arguing and fist fights were now taking over as obscenities rented the air over what they had termed as mistrust and dishonesty. The MP tried to speak to the two teams, urging them to stop the fighting. He then went on to speak to the few elders from Pokot and Turkana, who had remained unshaken as the scaffold went on, urging them to speak to their young men and to distribute the animals that had been surrendered. The MP has called on the cabinet secretary in charge of interior, Joseph Nkaiseri, to ensure that the area is secure. It was a life threat and we were almost losing life. If one, because everybody was harmed in that meeting in Akwamuru, both Pokot and Turkana, there was tension already, even when we were handing it over. So, and uh, most of them were also drunk. I really pleaded with them that no one should actually shoot. So that's the question we're asking. Why? Why? Why are we put in this awkward situation? Yeah? The CS must follow his words. If, if he says, I don't want anybody to interfere with this piece of notary. If anybody interferes, I will deal with that person. Now they have interfered. You have not dealt with the person. Who will hear your words? Who will trust you? So we should mean our words. Suspected Pokot bandits had stolen animals belonging to Turkana herders in November last year, and plans of recovery had been initiated by peace committees from both counties, which managed to recover 22 donkeys and eight heads of cattle. Joanne Letting for KTN News in Nakwamoru, Turkana County.